Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Snack Time with Chanel. It's been a couple of months, probably, maybe a little less, but today I have a special gift from a friend of mine. I'm not going to name his name because this is some military shit we're going to be going over, and these are the meals that they give you when you're out, like, I guess, you know, I think my buddy was in both Afghanistan and Iraq. Not 100% sure, but I am 98% sure he did some time in Iraq. And this is called a tailored operational training meal. And I opened it last night. And I actually devoured them all. There are these cookies in here called Patriotic Sugar Cookies. And holy fucking shit are they awesome. I don't know if I put them in this one because we're going to go over both of these. And also, if the zombie apocalypse comes while I'm recording this, we have some emergency rations which are great for lifeboats and shit like that. Eat one bar every six hours per person. Eat in small pieces and chew well. So we have 18 bars of concentrated food. So let's go over some of this doomsday shit as well as what our troops and whatnot eat while out in the field. Because to me that's important and like, I don't like comparing the military to jail, but, you know, if you've ever been locked up, when you get commissary and you don't have to eat that bullshit they give you every fucking day, just watch some Wes Watson videos if you want his take on the food. Fuck the motherfucking food! But... These things, from what I've heard from soldiers, they put a smile on some people's faces while out in, you know, the field on a mission, when you get a drop box full of food, especially going back to like World War II. I used to go to McDonald's with my mom on Sunday mornings and there would be all these... See, it's kind of a bummer. This generation no longer is really as dominant as it used to be when it comes to population just because a lot of these World War II veterans passed away because of old age. Like, a lot of these guys, they're legit heroes. They've stormed the beaches of Normandy and like, some of these guys like live a couple blocks, well they lived a couple blocks away and I remember one of them was actually, you know, in the whole Bastogne situation, which you can see in Band of Brothers. And he was just like, yo, you know, he didn't say yo, but like, them getting rations was like, you know, something they didn't think was gonna happen. The Germans had them. That's why it's called the Battle of the Bulge and whatnot. Like, just read up on it or watch Band of Brothers. It's one of my favorite Band of Brothers episodes is when they storm the actual town and whatnot and get out of the woods. And even when they're in the woods and whatnot, it just seems like there's no hope. But let's go over the tailored operational training meal. Train as we fight. U.S. government property. That's what I mean. I don't want to... I don't know if me even having this stuff is cool or not, but I really like the uh, camouflage spoon and whatnot. And we have some sugar in here, and let's check out what else, because I'm guessing it might be some sort of coffee. But look, fucking army spoon. But what I was saying, though, is that this ration stuff, like... It was a big deal to get like a chocolate bar and you know you could trade your chocolate for cigarettes or whatever you were into but this is cool as shit. 
Like, I think that's awesome. Now I have a camouflage spoon. I should have asked permission because I, I respect my buddy with the utmost respect for, you know, being in the military during the time period he was in and, you know, making a career out of it and finally retiring. I think that's fucking great. And you know who you are and, you know, nothing but respect. And I appreciate everything everybody in the armed forces does for our country even if i don't agree with why we are in some of these situations somebody's got to do it and we're still cleaning up a uh, mr bush's mess and like i said i don't want to get into that stuff but we have some coffee mate coffee creamer which i could have used earlier because i did, i ran out of you know Creamers, so this would have been great actually, but it's the it's official Nestle coffee mate The original good shit and These are one of those moist towelettes. I Don't know why people hate the word moist moist It's it does sound kind of grimy like oh, yeah Carry out co fucking fresh nap moist towel. I guess this is the like, you know, clean your hands off and whatnot before eating while out in the field. Oh shit. We're gonna have to have a coffee time with Chanel episode and go over some of this deep, rich, instant coffee from the US military. American Instance, Flanders, New Jersey, Oakley Doakley, so we'll save this bad boy, and here we have some sugar, a regular napkin, which I actually have to use, salt and pepper, and let's go into this bag. Now, like I said, I ate the sugar cookies. They, they tasted like those old McDonald's, like, Happy Meal cookies. That's exactly what they fucking tasted like. And they were dialed. Like, I was like, holy shit, these are so fucking good. And here we have some peanuts dry roasted and salted. Again, I'm going to save some of this stuff. But, uh, here's some beverage-based powder, lemon-lime, so, I guess, you know, if you're sick of just drinking regular water, and you want a little bit of sugar and some vitamin C, this has you covered. Holy shit. This is applesauce. <laughs> Applesauce enhanced with malodextrin for increased performance. Fuck. Does this like make you into a super soldier? Seriously, I don't know what the fuck maltrodextrin is, but it sounds gnarly, doesn't it? I wonder how this tastes. Next time I watch my nephew, if he wants applesauce. Nah, maybe that's a bad idea. This might like make him... Like, I don't know if it gives you energy or what it does. Oh, this is a heating pouch. Like, um, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Uh, yeah. So it's like a vapor heater type thing. So, like, I like how... The way you make it, you find a rock or something. Anything that, you know, can make it, uh, I'm guessing a 90 degree incline, which is what it looks like. But uh, yeah, to prevent water from escaping and to maximize heat output, always keep heater located underneath MRE bag, folded over top of MRE and carton incline with folded end of bag up. After 10 to 15 minutes, depending on air temperature, 
top half of bag can be torn off and the MRE can be removed and eaten. So this is a meal ready to eat heater. Huh. So I wonder if this is the actual, oh no, no, here it is. Here's some more candy. These are uh, toffee rolls, chocolate flavored. And I'm not gonna fuck with this, and I'm not gonna cook right now. I just wanted to show you, ladies and gentlemen, this gnarliness. All right, now right here we have beef ravioli in meat sauce. Now this looks fucking gnarly. Military rations are good performance meals. Food gives you energy. The more energy you burn, the more food you need. Whoa. Tips. If you can't eat all the food in the ration, eat some of each component to get a balance of nutrients. Eat the high carbohydrate items first. Crackers, beverage based, fruit and jelly. Save unopened dry snacks to eat while you're on the move. And restriction of food and nutrients leads to rapid late <laughs> rapid weight loss, which leads to loss of strength, decreased endurance, loss of motivation, and decreased mental alertness. In the field, you need three meals per day. One meal ready to eat MRE contains 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Average daily calorie requirements in the field are 2,800 to three. 100 to 2800 to 3600 calories for males and 2000 to 2800 for females. So let's take a look at this. I hope this doesn't fuck it up by opening it. I just want to see what it looks. It's all probably, yep, I figured. So this, I'm guessing, goes into here. And this is beef ravioli in meat sauce. So we're gonna save all this for another day, but I'm gonna show you the rib shaped barbecue flavored pork patty real quick. I've seen some channels where people eat this stuff. Um, you know, one day I, I might eat more than just the cookies, but for right now, we will do a coffee time with this, and I do need some creamer. This goes away, and I'm gonna keep this military spoon. And I showed you the uh, Datrex multi-purpose emergency ration, which we'll open real quick. Ugh! Ugh, imagine, ew, fucking ew, I don't even want to eat, should I, should I take a, oh, I have to, I opened it, you opened the box, we came, it's the fucking lament configuration right here, oh, uh, this is gnarly, I don't know what this is, it doesn't really say, it just says, uh, well, it's enough to fucking keep you alive, so. All right, we're gonna eat this thing. I'm not eating the whole fucking thing, and I don't have any, oh my god. I don't have any, uh, you know what, I'm gonna get some water. It's crazy, cause, you know, when if you're in a situation where it's life or death, you're not gonna complain about eating this stuff? All right. Oh, it smells like shit. It's actually not that bad. I'm not gonna, hold on. Oh, all right, it's bad. But, ah, that's weird. It like, Starts off nasty and then starts tasting like a sugar cookie. 
Oh, that's that's fucking weird. Oh, that's an emergency ration. Like this is end of the world, you know, doomsday prepper shit. Oh, that was I don't know, like that 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 was good, but it was like gnarly, and I just took a tiny bite. I'm sure if you were on a fucking life raft and this is all you had, then you know you're probably in pretty good shape for at least a couple days. But that was pretty gnarly. Let's check out this MRE real quick. And meal ready to eat individual, warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and warfighter approved. That means Bolt Thrower approves this menu item. Number 16. Sorry for all you vegans out there. I don't know if this is actually... They probably have meals if you're a vegan. I don't know though. If you're in the military, let me know. But this has pretzel sticks. You know what? Let's try a pretzel stick. Just a wee one. Tastes like a pretzel. All right, I, these are pretty good. More um, lemon lime beverage powder. This bag's like sick looking. Like you could tell it's military. Ah, this has the fucking wheat bread snack on it. It's like, uh, I, I guess it's like bread kind of. Again, I don't really want to waste it, but I'll show it to you real quick. How the fuck do you open it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, check this out. It's kind of like a Pop-Tart, but like with nothing in it. I've seen these before, like, Ugh, it smells nasty. But you know, if you're if this is all you have, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's what I mean. Nothing but respect. Like, here's your cheese spread, which again, if you've ever been locked up, you know this stuff right here is like pretty much currency. If you wanna get in on a chi chi or something, you better throw in some cheese spread or a couple bags of ramen noodles but you know this stuff would go anyway I don't really fuck with cheese so I understand you know putting the cheese on the bread along with uh, these corn nuggets if you really want to make uh, yourself some sc fucking scrapping but heavy ass meal these look like um, Cereal? But I'm not sure. Toasted corn kennels. Alright, so it's like a snack. Kind of bland, but... What are you expecting, you know? Damn, I don't know how you could eat a lot of this stuff without water. And hold on. This is some beverage base orange type three. Formulation H sugar three. I don't know what this could it's just probably some kind of orange drink. Oh look, you get some breath mints. That's kind of cool. Some military breath mints. Another nice camouflage spoon. Alright, and the bag. Flameless ration heaters are prohibited on commercial airlines unless sealed in original bag. What? I don't know. Department of Defense, United States of America. All right, and here is some chocolate pudding desert dessert powder. 
I don't know why I said desert powder, but uh, I'm interested in this, but right now I'm not going to cook any of this stuff. I don't know where the, uh, where's the beef? I really don't know where the rib-shaped barbecue pork patty is, but I don't know. <laughs> Those are some military rations and military food. I know I didn't really eat that much. I just wanted to go over it with you just to show how gnarly it could probably be in a battlefield type environment that's not behind a video game console. Nothing but respect to everyone that has ever served in the military. Even though I personally... I don't agree with war in general. I, I just think, you know, the only war there should be is the war against Jesus Christ. Let's just keep killing Christ with fucking music. But otherwise than that, you know... I, I, I'm kind of against violence in reality, but I understand why, but it, it's mostly about this, but sadly, you know, you have people that don't do research and whatnot, you'll have people that are calling me like some left-wing fucking commie, you fucking socialist, like, no, I just don't like war. I think it's, it's, it's bad news, especially nowadays when you have somebody like Donald Trump that has such an ego where somebody could just be like in, you know, Kazakhstan, for example, could be like on Twitter, Donald Trump's hair is stupid. We're gonna go after Kazakhstan because they said my haircut's stupid. Like, he's a fucking, he's a pair of clown shoes. But... I wanted to make this video in the uttermost respect to our military ladies and gentlemen out there in the field, people who put their time in already, like nothing but, res like, nothing but respect and if somebody's out there like in Iraq watching this video, nothing but positive vibes, like for real, like. Be safe out there, you know, it's awesome that my friend hooked all this stuff up, and I just think it's super interesting sometimes because it's like a whole entire different world than civilian life. Like, it makes me grateful that if I want a peanut butter sandwich, look, I got some nice jiff here, I don't have to wait six months or whatever, like, I, I don't really know. But for some reason, I always associate jail and the military kind of the same. You get kind of shitty food, you're surrounded by people you don't really know, but they end up kind of becoming your friends, depending on what jail you're in, I know. But, yeah, this is what the military feeds you to keep you a fucking killing machine and just going I guess you know because sometimes you're probably just wandering in a hundred plus degree weather with I'm guessing at least 75 plus pounds worth of baggage on your back I don't know how much a gun like that like a military grade gun would weigh but I'm sure it's not some John Wick shit where you know it's no big deal. I'm, I, I'm sure that thing has major kickback and it's probably about 50 pounds, I'm guessing, for like an AR-15. But I'm sure they like make that shit lighter, maybe, for military grade. I don't know. I'm just rambling. But this is some gnarly stuff right here. The emergency rations and nothing but respect for the... U.S. military when it comes to, you know, our troops and whatnot. Even if I don't agree with certain situations, I still respect the people that go in, you know, and get the job done because it takes balls and, you know, it's 
pretty much the basis of what America is built on. And that's kind of our military and whatnot. Like, if we would have lost World War II, this would be a totally different fucking world. And I just think it's crazy that, you know, we're still in these skirmishes and we have soldiers dying every day and it's just such a bummer sometimes because at the end of the day I feel like it's all about money but you know it gives people that otherwise would end up you know lost in life an opportunity like, I tried joining the Navy, but they told me I had a gang tattoo, and that was the end of that. I was like, okay, I, I thought you were allowed to have tattoos, but they claimed I had a gang-based tattoo. I really don't, but whatever. Still, respect to the U.S. military and respect to our troops overseas. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hicks. Yeah.